So the patient is prescribed 100 milligrams of a drug. The pharmacy sends an oral suspension labeled 12.5 milligrams per two mils to the ward. How much would the nurse administer? So it doesn't matter which method we're going to use. If we are going to use the, the box method, when we have to first identify what we have and enter it in the box, and then we enter what we want and have um, three quantities in the box, can do some estimation and then do the, the calculation. Or if we like using the formula method, which is the want over have times, sometimes the volume, sometimes tablets, it's a third quantity basically. So it doesn't matter which of these two methods we are using, we need to identify the want and the have in this question, in the word problem. So let's start again. This 100 milligram that I had underlined first relates to what has been prescribed to this patient. So prescribed is a word that reminds us of what is wanted because it's all about the patient. So I could even put a little, as a strategy, a little W there to say, this is what I want. The next lot of quantities we see are these two here, 12.5 milligrams in two mils. So uh, when I see that slash, I, that slash translating into a ratio, so 12.5 milligrams per two mils, every two mils contain 12.5 milligrams. This is where we will identify our have. And how else do I know what's the clue apart from that slash, the ratio labeled? And the pharmacy sends that suspension labeled 12.5 milligrams to two mils. So uh, taking time to analyze what each quantity means will really help with the rest of the workings. So let's start by using the box method. So let's just draw the box. I'll always start with the have when I'm working with the box. So in this case, I have to copy those two quantities into the box. And I'll use the same color we have there. So 12.5 milligrams, and I suggest you do write the milligram inside the box as well, per, the per is sitting here, in that, I mean, just to help us visualize, in that line in the middle of the box. So 12.5 milligrams per two mils. So the have is entered. We don't need to worry about the have anymore. Now we're going to enter the want. Once the have is entered, we have already used two spaces in this box. We only have two left to go and we only have one quantity. So the 100 milligrams, our want, will need to sit next to one of these quantities here. Because we need to match the units, because we want to match quantity of dry ingredient or powder with each other or volume liquid with each other, we will need to put the 100 milligrams in the top box here. Why is that? Simply because we need to match the units, milligrams with milligrams. So now we can look at this and try to do some mental calcs perhaps. Looking uh, at the box horizontally or vertically, uh, because the proportions are maintained this way. So let's see, 12.5 is a hard one to work with in my head. So I could call that 10. So if I said that 12.5 is actually similar or close to 10 milligrams, uh, the two mils, I'll leave it like that because it's easy to think two mils, and 100 milligrams is good too. So what I'm doing here is a mental calculation. It's not the final answer. It's just an estimation. I said the relationship in the box is seen sidewise or horizontally or vertically. In this case, it's looking easy to look sidewise or horizontally. 10 
compared to 100 gets bigger. How many times bigger does 10 get? 10 to 100, it's 10 times bigger. 10 times 10. If it gets bigger, it's multiplied by something. So 10 times 10, 100. So what we need to do to keep the proportion, because that's what the box does. The box is all about proportion. 2 must be multiplied, increased by 10 times as well. So if we have 10 milligrams and it goes up to 100, 10 times bigger, then we have 2 mils, it has to go up by 10 times as well. 2 times 10 is 20. So we are expecting an answer in the house, in the size of 20. It won't be 20 because I didn't use the 12.5 original quantity. So let's see, doing the, the full quantity, what we would get. And, and we keep in mind this estimate that we have here on the bottom. So. What do we do here now? We look at the two diagonals. That is the main diagonal because I see two numbers, two quantities, and that's where we start. So we say 100 milligrams multiplied by two mils. So the main diagonal, we multiply the two elements. And then the third quantity, the, one, the only one left, we divide. So we have 12.5 milligrams. Now for, for the ones of you who like seeing the cancellation, look at what happens. The milligrams disappear, canceling top and bottom, and the only unit left is the mils. So I already know that the final answer here will be in mils. And also because I know that this part of the box needs to match with the left one in mils. So let's do a quick mental calc. I mean, of course, we can push the buttons straight away, but how powerful it is to just look at the numbers and multiply them. 100 times 2, 200. 200 divided by 12.5. Again, 12.5 is hard work to do, but that's what we need to do. So 200 divided by that. So probably use the calculator because we already know the estimate anyway. 200 divided by 12.5, or how many 12.5s go into 200, we get the exact answer of 16 mils. So let's first compare that with our estimate. We said we were going to get 20 mils. 16 mils, is, of course, is not the same, but it's in that house. If I had pushed the wrong button or not really look at the size of my answer and had 1.6 mils for the answer, then I would say, no, this is very far from 20 mils. What if I had pushed wrong buttons again and I got 160 mils? Same thing. It's not around that 20. So let's see if we have answered the question. So we read again, how much will the nurse administer? 16 mils. So we just have to say now, yeah, 16 mils is the answer to this question.